Hello everyone. Now we will start with advanced ABAP programming topics and we will go for our first topic and our first topic is cursor. Extremely important topic from the project perspective, especially in the support projects after a certain years of time. Yes, we should apply the concept of cursor in our select queries. Now we will understand firstly what is cursor. Cursor is used to fetch data or extract data from the database table but in the form of segments, chunks or packets. Now, what is the meaning of this particular line? We all know we are fetching data from database table using select statement. Now, suppose what will happen? After a certain years of time, we have so much data in the database table that system will throw or system will throw the memory related issue. Suppose simple example. Our table has billion trillion of data and that is increasing daily. So in that case, what will happen? Whenever we will fetch data from database table and bring data on the application layer, at that point of time, the application layer do not have enough memory that it can accommodate that much amount of data. So in that case, what the solution is rather than bringing all the data on the application layer, bring the data or extract the data from database table in the form of packets, in the form of segments, in the form of chunks. Suppose simple example, suppose a table has one lakh record. So rather than fetching one lakh record together, what we will do at a time, we will fetch only 10,000, then next 10,000, then next 10,000. So we will fetch data from database table 10 times. And after that, we will club that the 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, and it will be one lakh extremely important useful concept in the projects and many times after a certain period of time whenever you are getting memory related issue that whenever you are bringing data from database layer to application layer low memory issues are coming at that time your supervisor will always suggest you that please fetch that data in the form of packets in the form of chunks, you can decide the packet size at that point of time that if you are fetch passing this much packet size, at least runtime error will not come. So whenever we will fetch the data in terms of packets and segment, at that time we are not giving this much load, we are not bringing this much data on the application layer in single instance of time. We are bringing small, small packets of data and we are clubbing at the last. So this is the concept of cursor and very, very useful concept from the project perspective. So cursor is used to extract data in form of segment, packets, chunks, from the database table. Anyways, packet size we will decide. Now, whenever you are going for fetching that data based upon cursor, we will make use of three statements. And it is very, very understandable. We will firstly open the cursor. We will close the cursor. And in between this open and close, we will fetch that data in the form of packets. We all know if we talk about Adobe form topic also, we are firstly opening the job. We are then we are closing the job. 
in between open and close we are doing everything same thing is here also we will firstly open the cursor we will fetch that data in the form of packets and at the last we will simply simply close the cursor so what we will do i will go for a program and in that program we will see yes how to fetch that data using cursor at the, at this point of time my table do not have this much big data that i will get a runtime error or something but yes if you are working in a project and at that time you need to convert the query you need to fetch that data based upon packets or chunk so you can simply simply use this particular concept and widely widely used concept in the project so i will go for a program suppose in this program what we are doing we have a select option for order number we are fetching data from order header table and we are displaying the data suppose if i will run this program how this program is working suppose i am passing the input 1 to 10 this 1 to 10 will go to database table it will bring that data on to the application layer based upon all the inputs together and then we are displaying the data now we will not go for this way suppose we will go for a perception that table has this much big data and whenever we are running this program we are getting the runtime error then in that case what we will do rather than fetching all the data together we will fetch the data in terms of packet suppose if i will go for simple example i gave the input 1 to 10 so suppose i will give the packet size as suppose 4 then what but the system will do firstly it will fetch for order number 1 to 4 it will come on the application layer then 5 to 8 it will come on the application layer then 9 and 10 so this is the way how we are dividing we are fetching that data based upon chunks and segment in the form of chunks and segment so now i will just write the syntax rather than fetching all the data together we will see how to fetch the data in the form of packets and chunks so i will simply simply convert this query rather than writing the query because based upon this query yes we are fetching data from database table and data is coming into this internal table all data is coming we will simply simply use cursor now to fetch the data in the form of packets and chunks anyone can ask you if you are using cursor or if you are simply writing a select statement what is the difference between both of them you can simply tell the difference that with the help of cursor you can fetch the data in small small packets but with the help of select query you need to bring all the data based upon that particular condition now first we what we will do what are those three steps what is first step we need to open the cursor so i will write open cursor the keyword is itself open cursor now i will give some name to the cursor you can give any name it is totally totally your wish suppose i am saying name of the cursor is c c okay so i will write four then we have a keyword four now we are opening the cursor we gave the name of the cursor four is a keyword and i will write select 
I am going for fetching data based upon cursor. Now just write same to same. We are fetching data of how many column? Four columns. Now we are fetching data from which particular table? This is our order header table. We already have this program in the ABAP programming playlist. So I simply use that particular program. Now you opened the cursor for select from database table. Now I will simply, simply give the where condition. Have you seen? I have not given into table internal table. This statement I have not given because as of now we are only opening the cursor whenever we will fetch whenever we will fetch at that time i will pass the name of internal table at this point of time we are not bringing any data onto the application layer we are just opening the cursor for this particular select statement. What is your where condition? Order number in S underscore O number. At this point of time, because many people will think at this point of time itself, we are fetching data from database table. No, we just opened a cursor for this particular select statement. We just opened the cursor. After that, we will fetch the data. This is the biggest difference, yes. So we opened the cursor. Now we will close the cursor also. So I will write close cursor. What is the name of the cursor? Now I will declare the cursor also. So I will write the data. See, suppose I'm saying cursor is of integer type. You all know, yes, whenever you are going for integer, there's no need to specify the length as it is a complete data type itself. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with advanced ABAP programming topics. And we started with first topic that is cursor, cursor, extremely important topic with the help of cursor. You can fetch that data from database table in the form of packets, in the form of segments, in the form of chunks means what is the meaning of this? As of now, you have written the set query. Suppose you have thousand records. So all thousand from database layer will come onto the application layer. But now we are not going for this because after a certain years, we have this much big data in the tables, this much huge amount of data. So whenever you will bring data on the application layer all together, system will throw low memory issue. So what is the solution at that point of time? Fetch the data based upon small, small chunks. Bring small data, small packet of data, small packet of data, then combine all together. So we use the concept of cursor for that. Now, whenever we are going for cursor, we firstly open the cursor, we close the cursor, and in between this, we have fetch next cursor which is used to fetch the data in the form of packets and chunks. So what is the syntax to open the cursor? Open cursor, name of the cursor, for and for which particular query you need to write the syntax of the query. Just as of now, we are not fetching the data at all. We just open the cursor for this particular select query, we close the cursor and we declare the cursor. In the next video, in between this open and close, we will write the logic for the 
fetch next cursor because we need to fetch the data now in terms of packets and chunks. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.